it's easier to fool people than to convince them that they've been fooled. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, in our Mindful Monday segment, we learn about the importance of living a conscious life. Enjoy. Nobody can turn you into a slave unless you allow them. Nobody can make you afraid of anything unless you allow them. Nobody can tell you to do something wrong unless you allow them. God never created you to be a slave. Man did. God never created division or set up any borders between brothers. Man did. God never told you to hurt or kill one another. Man did. So why is man your God? and not the Creator. It seems that many people are completely unaware of how they are being controlled energetically and how their thoughts and mental processes are being controlled, how many of the thoughts they are having are very simply not their own. And very often we are manipulating ourselves. It's extremely important that people see the mind control and how they are manipulated energetically. The energetic manipulation that we are subject to is extremely subtle and most people don't even realize that many of the thoughts they are having are not their own and they don't realize how they are being manipulated into acting out certain scenarios. As a species, we seem deathly afraid of ever seeing anybody apart from themselves ever excel at anything. People in modern society are deathly afraid of seeing anybody perhaps enjoying their lives a little bit too much or doing better than what we believe they should be doing or doing any better than they are. Well, I suppose we're okay with people doing well as long as we are doing a little bit better. And it's a very clever but very insidious undertone that's been interjected into our way of thinking and most certainly interjected into the independent media. You know, we've got a situation where most of humanity is energy deprived because, you know, you get humanity and you squash it into a box and you fracture it and you prevent it from ever discovering itself or even being who and what it is. You know, people are just never able to truly express themselves or even know themselves. And you end up with a situation where people are completely disconnected from source and their most readily available source of energy is other people. And so the easiest way for them to get energy from other people, of course, is to hack down everybody they see around them who may be excelling. And this, of course, prevents humankind from ever moving forward because anybody who has a good idea or really wants to make some change is immediately hacked down and told that he has to be part of the general throng because there are no tall poppies, there are nobody that excels, there is nobody who's better. You know, so all of these things are taken to an extreme, folks. I mean, sure, we're all equal. There's nobody who has more value than anybody else. But people have creative ideas, and these ideas should be put into practice, and people should be allowed to have these ideas. And tall poppy syndrome prevents this from ever happening. It prevents real lights from ever truly being able to shine. But that's what happens, folks. You take everything you can from human consciousness and you squash it into a little box and in that situation people kind of enjoy hacking down everybody around them because it's a really readily available source of energy for them and that's just the way it is and that's the way our society has become and it's kind of disturbing but it's just a part of our society it's a part of our mental makeup now and of course I'm speaking generally folks it may not be part of your mental makeup but as a species it is part of our general social makeup and very noticeably so. And as I said, this happens because unfortunately most people are so disconnected from source now that they are simply not able to get energy and so their most readily available source of energy is other people. But we're at a very pivotal time at the moment. We're at a very pivotal emotional time and that's very obvious by what's been happening in the last few months, in the last year. I mean, everybody's been going through it. I've certainly been going through it. 
I mean, there's been major changes in my life and in my relationships with people. And I know a lot of people that have been going through the same thing. There's been a lot of changes in their lives and in their relationships with people. And people that I know that never get depressed have been going through all sorts of emotional extremes. And we're at a time now where we really need to regain some focus and to find some balance. You know, we've got to be tough and strong and hard as nails and resilient on one hand. But then we've got to be kind and loving and open on the other hand. So we need to find the balance between those two. And what we really need to do is connect back with our hearts and really look for the heart in all of our actions. And be prepared to face trials and tribulations, but be prepared to stand strong and stand true and stand fast in your truth. But always be open and always be kind and always be gentle and honest in your approach. If you can do that, I think you're going to find a way through this period. You know, if you can make sure you're always centered in your heart and your actions, I think you're going to find that you are going to be able to avoid the trap of slipping into that energy harvest where you're just harvesting energy from other people. You are a living expression of universal consciousness, a living expression of universal creation here to have the experience. You are gifted the vessel that you inhabit to have the experience in by your creator God, whatever you perceive that to be. And you are gifted this vessel to do with what you will and to make of the experience what you can. And there is nobody who has a right of ownership or authority over that vessel apart from you. And there is nobody who you should be allowing to claim they have a right to rule you or have a right to own you or have a right to control you or have any right of authority over you because they don't. The only ones who have any authority over the vessel that you inhabit is yourself and the creator who gifted you the vessel for your temporary use. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled view the full video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.